All right, fellas, so I'm doing a quick video on this product 3M paint defender uh, spray film. Now, I posted a picture of this earlier, and uh, there's a lot of uh, feedback as far as if it's working or uh, how does it come out or the final finish of it. So, well, I did a quick spray on this tube just to give me a, a you know, a approximate uh, cure time. And I don't want to just scratch the finished product on the vehicle, so I sprayed some here as a sample. Now this dries clear. Now this product's been a while for quite some time, and I believe the product was actually taken off the uh, two years ago. Uh, again, it's it's not it's not one of those easy part where you can spray like plasti dip and um, it lays down quick, and smooth, and flat. Uh, there is a um, oh, come on, auto focus. There is some kind of um, <clears throat> a learning curve for this product, and even I have trouble uh, using this. And I, uh, I, I, I do paint cars um, as a hobby, so it, it does. I mean, it, it, I think it would be a lot better if they have like a pint size where you can throw in a spray gun, where you have a, a wider spray range. The nozzle on this, it doesn't really help um, using it out of a spray can. So, but anyways, <clears throat> um, so this is the final finish. Now you can see here it, it sprays on and cures like. Um, Clear coat. So now this does have one of those like um, self-healing uh, type of texture to it, where it's rubberized. Now you can see there is some gloss to it, so it is clear. There's some gloss to it, so it does. It probably will blend into your uh, paint very well, depending on the uh, color. Darker colors, uh, you might have this hazel finish the first few days. Uh, uh, that's just a moisture trap. After a while, it should clear up really well. The other thing is that when you spray, make sure you spray evenly. If not, there's going to be some high and lows to the, the finish of it, which creates a, uh, a, um, a uh, an effect you don't want on your car. So that's that's probably why the, the poor reviews come in. It's, it's because of the, the way you're spraying. Uh, having high and low spots on a car really affects the, uh, the way that the light hits it. So it doesn't really give that attractive uh, finish to the car especially if you do uh, the the lip of the hood let's say if you were to paint that apply that product on this edge right here if you have a darker car it you know with with an uneven car coating on this um front of the hood it's gonna um refract the light a certain way where it just makes the car look cheap so that's why um uh what is it those uh clear bras the more expensive it is the more thinner and more even it is across the um the film if you buy a thicker one it has just orange up orange peel effect to it and with this case it's exactly like that so if you have the high and lows it has that orange peel i would say effect to it uh the thinner it is the better so 3m you know, have those those kind of clear bras, which is expensive, but it, it looks really good. But anyways, back to this. So now let's try to puncture this and see if the film can can hold up to like the you know the rocks and chips and whatnot. So this is a dull edge right here. So I'm just gonna stab at it real quick. Okay. Now that would be a little bit excessive, but that would basically show the rock chips um so so the layer is still on there but you can see that it, it actually came off of the um the uh the tube so let me see if i can just use a sharp blade and see if i can peel back so you can see this autofocus sucks on this phone let me see there we go so the finish is still on there Right there. So the impact will actually raise the the um, the product, but the product still stay intact, which is exactly what we want, especially with the, the fenders, uh, the rear fenders for the ridge line. So I would believe after multiple impact on the same spot, it actually might it might give. So let's see if we can actually is easy to peel this off. Now look at that. This thing will stay intact. You see that? Before it gives. So I have no reason to believe that this will not work. 
for the, the, the application that we're using this for. Now what we're using this for is to protect the fenders from rusting. Now, me stabbing at this with a good amount of strength, it's not piercing through it, but it's actually disturbing it, disturbing the contact uh, between the, the tubing itself and the, the, the adhesive in this product. So, but it's not failing, which is great because now we know that the paint won't be exposed to moisture. And this is on there pretty good actually. So, look at that. This is a pretty decent film. So let me see if I can try to tear it. It does have some electricity to it before it gives. So, again, I'm going to try it this winter and see if it helps. Now, I applied it on the Venza. This is the second layer. The more the better, I suppose, because we're not actually going for a perfect look. We're going for the durability of it. So, I applied it. Now, it doesn't affect the appearance of the paint because it dries clear. Now, on a darker color, you might have a milky, hazy effect to it because you know it's more you know it's more visible with the with the darker paint, with with you know. But if you have a darker paint, I say black. What I would use for the black cars, I'll use probably use a Herculine or or, or some kind of um, or like chassis saver, which I used last year, but it's actually peeling off because of the excessive um, uh, rock chips. So with this, it has a, more of a self-healing, rubberized finish to it. It could probably hold up to a few rock chips. So, um, so we're going to finish up this video uh, and see by next year and see if it, if it holds up or not. But as of right now, it seems pretty promising for this product. I got it uh, two years ago, 2015, June 2015 or 15 bucks. Full, full retail price, $23.